Asian seafood snacks. Asian seafood snacks. 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 Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Hey everybody, it's Midnight Weekend. Hey, hey everybody! What about Asian seafood snacks? What makes these things exist in the world? Oh, exist in the world? I don't know. I mean, I didn't invent any of these, but I know that seafood is really prevalent in Asian cuisine and Asian diets. Fish, shellfish, crabs, lobster. A lot of fishing going on. In Chinese cooking, there's a saying where in every meal you should have one meat, one seafood, and one vegetable. So it's part of like a balanced meal. The fish is its own... Its own food group. Oh, that's kind of interesting. The healthier portion of the meats. We have five different Asian seafood snacks today. Some of them are from Singapore, some of them are from China, and one from Thailand. So before we get into it, guys, we just want to say thank you for watching our videos. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date on all of our latest videos. That's right, and watch till the end. We're gonna make a judgment call on which snack here tastes the best. Now let's get into it. It's snack time! All right, guys, first up, we got this snack from China. It is in the shape of a lipstick orange. Tell me about this thing. What is this? Thing? I don't even know. I bought it at a local Chinese market. It's called Mouth, Mouth spicy, spicy, which is why this package is shaped like a lipstick. That's weird. I know. Nobody. That's a weird packaging decision. Said it here. makes sense. It's got either a lobster or crawfish and a chili pepper. Yep. So, so let's test your Chinese. Long Wait. No way. No way. Wow. I can't take all the credit. There's a lot of context that helps guide <laughs> a my lot of way prompts. through <laughs> Chinese. Ma la xiao long xiao wei means that it's numbing spice crawfish flavored. I kind of have an idea of what this is going to taste like, right? It's just a Sichuan hot pot. You opened it and like this gush oh. of smell came. <laughs> Oh, those are bugles, I see them. So I definitely smell the mala. I have a feeling I'm gonna like this, but they're really flat bugles. So if you haven't seen our childhood snacks episode, Paul essentially professed his love for MSG. I love you, MSG. So he's probably gonna like these. <laughs> I love you, MSG. I love you. Oh my gosh, these ridges yeah. are perfect for holding the spice in. Mm. Let's eat one. Oh man. I have a feeling they're what very this is. flat compared to bugles. Though. Woo! Surprisingly, I like these. You like them? <laughs> I wish they were a little less salty. Snacks from China typically are overly salted. The mala flavor is mm. always accompanied by a sh ton of salt. I don't really taste crawfish as a flavor here. Mm, that's true. I'm just tasting mala, and that's it. I feel like lobster and crawfish don't really have. A prominent flavor. Yeah, of mm. its own. Stop lying to us. There's no crawfish in here. You didn't come poop. My tongue is like sweating. I was really surprised when I moved to China how popular crawfish was. I naively thought that it was very much of like a southern dish. And then when it's xiaodongxia or like crayfish season, they're all like, oh, let's go out to eat crayfish. But instead of a lobster bake, you'd be getting crayfish all over the table. Those are messy. Have okay. about it? Have an experience. Let me just dump this stuff on your table and you know, eat this. Tip me. Next up, folks, we got fish skin from Thailand. Mm. Fish skin from Thailand is actually called nyum, nyum, nyum. Nyum, What can you tell us about this packaging, Cheryl? Well, apparently there's a man that went fishing, probably <laughs> ate the fish and is like, hey, there's leftover fish skin. Let's make a snack out of it. This snack seems different from the other snack because it's actually made out of seafood. Yeah, a seafood chicharroni. Hmm, yeah, that's a good uh, comparison. Salted egg, if you don't know, is eggs with salt. You explain further. <laughs> Salted eggs essentially are brined eggs. My mom traditionally has made them before. Mm. Um, and it's literally just made out of like duck eggs with like salty brine water. Or chicken um, eggs, right? It's just a way to preserve eggs. And it is quite salty. There's not a good way to eat salted eggs unless you put it with a lot of something else. It's almost used like salt itself. Maha niyom. Maha niyom. Fish skin. We got it from a relative, or my relative in Bangkok, and we definitely want to try it out. It's very uh, Thai. Very Thai. So I don't know how 
people will actually be able to get their hands on this in America, but we're still gonna try it and figure it out. Ooh. Wow. That's not uh, as pungent as I was expecting. More salted egg than fishy. Ooh, 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 ooh. 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 Oh. Wow, tips to enjoy. Enjoy by yourself or share with your loved one. Okay. <laughs> Upside down the bag and jelly shot. Sorry about that, I didn't realize that. That was, was the there. instruction and she, I she fulfilled it. it. Seal I the wanna... bag tightly. Less talk and more eating. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, I like this. Mmm. Oh, it's spicy. Oh, got a kick. It wow. Went, oh. That's good. It's got just enough hint of like a seafood flavor. It kind of reminds me of like um, mm. pork floss mm. or something, right? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna and try like... this big one. Yes. Mmm. <laughs> I'm all. Mm. Yeah. It's just like a perfect bite all the way through. This would go good on porridge for sure. Salted egg is really about the texture. I can yeah. see this being good on top of like soups too. Mm. My one note, and it's probably a very um, selfish note, is put some English on there. Like let's get this out in the world. It tells you descriptively what's in here. But mm. in terms of branding, I'm just like at a loss. You guys bring this to America. I think it would do well. Next up folks, we got a brand from Singapore called Golden, the Golden Duck. Ooh. I assume that says Jingya. Jingya. Sweet. Here we got Singapore salted egg crab. And here we got Singapore chili crab, seaweed tempura. Seaweed, seafood. Seaweed, seafood. Seaweed, seafood, seaweed, seaweed, seaweed. seaweed, 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 seaweed. <laughs> You're stupid. You're stupid. You stupid. followed me. <laughs> Why you lead me down the street? Oh, look, made with real crab meat. So I appreciate that. Wow. Thank you. Stop giving me this string cheese made of poor, lowly fish. Here we have another salted egg flavor, but this time with crab. Yes. Uh, chili crab is like the national dish or something, right? <laughs> wow. Okay, they look very similar. I already know I'm gonna like this. Yeah. I love imagining how people in the factory make snacks. Mm -hmm. How can you tell you like it without tasting it? <laughs> it's instant gratification. It's imagining myself in Singapore right now. Mm -hmm. I'm transported there. Mm. It's not that spicy though, I'll tell you that. Again, there's a bit of like sweetness to the spice and saltiness. I think you have to ask yourself, do you prefer the seaweed tempura or the fish skin? If that question is posed to me, I would prefer the fish skin. Mmm. This one's a winner. Salted egg flavor is much more prominent than the fish skin. Oh I yeah, think. it's coated with like double the layer. Mmm. Holy crap, I'm just imagining all of these things on top of kanji. Yeah, or just even like white rice. Mmm. Oh. <laughs> mm. yeah. There is like a richness, almost like an umami flavor to it. Out of these two, salted egg yolk. For sure. All right, moving on. Last up, we have a crayfish flavor chip. Chip. I got it from a friend from Shanghai. That's right. <laughs> I am crayfish flavored. flavored. Yay. What? Ooh. All right. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Can you smell that? Holy crap. This looks like... Tofu skin. Yes. <laughs> it looks like fried tofu skin. I'm gonna eat it. Yeah. Oh. Not terrible. It still tastes like tofu skin to me. Mind I don't mind the taste of it. I don't it. mind it. These are mm. probably some of the better Chinese snacks that I've had. Mm -hmm. When you say crayfish flavor, I don't know what that means exactly. Yeah, that's true. I don't know if I'm getting any of that stuff. Okay, well, I'm gonna have another one just for, you know, good measure. Three, two, one. Salted Thai egg, no seaweed, oh sh I will gladly play you off in the final. Ah, oh Ooh. my God. First of all, right off the bat, my coloring just looks much more appetizing than yours. There's a lot more contrast in yours and saturation. I would say your salted egg is probably a lot more rich, mm. but I do like the texture of the fish skin. The fish skin first. Okay. Mmm. You could eat this for hours. Days even. Tastes a little more natural because it is, I Fish. think. I mean, seaweed's natural too. Yeah, but what's tempura? Let's try this one. 
Mmm, this is not effing around. The salted egg yolk flavor is just pure it's joy. It's amazingly rich. Yeah, it's really good. Mmm, amazingly light. Oh, this is and hard. And sophisticated. I'm willing to call this a tie. Yeah? Tied. First place. Wow, it's a first, everybody. So that's it, folks. Thanks for watching another episode of Provision Vision. We hope you enjoyed all the seafoodness of today. It's so good. Go fish yourself some. We'll have links below if you want to try any of the snacks that we tasted. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let us know what you think of these snacks in the comments below. Now go make friends with the sea. We'll check you later. Bye. Bye-bye.